The one on the left is 351250R22LT. The one on the right is 351250R22, I'm sorry, 20LT. 20 on the right, 22 on the left. Same height, little less profile. One inch diameter all the way around, less profile. This is more of an altering. This is more of a mud terrain. This tire will make a lot more noise on the street. This tire will be a better cruising tire on the highway. Softer ride, better ride, smoother ride, quieter ride. This one has a more aggressive sidewall, which I don't particularly like because it actually makes the sidewall look more low profile than this one. This one has a little bit of a, of a textured sidewall, but not as much as this. So again, 35, 12, 50, 20, 35, 12, 50, 22. Everybody's got 20s. Not so many have the 22, which is why I went with the 22. And I wanted the smoother ride so, and the quieter ride, so I went with the all-terrain, as opposed to the MT, which is mud terrain. AT, all terrain, MT, mud terrain. This is a size comparison for you. I'm comparing my brand new 35-1250-R22 on a set of 12 by 22 inch hostile exile wheels. These are what I've been running right now. These are 33 inch tall tires. So they're approximately one inch circumference all the way around smaller than the 35s. This is a LT 285-70R17 tire. This particular tire and wheel combination will lift my truck approximately one inch. My truck already has a six inch tough country suspension lift. I may have rubbing issues due to the added height of the 35, 12, 50, 22. And this tire across the tread is 11 inches, but total width is 12 and a half inches compared to the 33, which is only nine inches. Approximately 11 inches in total width counting the sidewalls. One of the reasons for the lift and the larger wheel is for clearance and issues with the wheel speed sensor. You can see this one is rubbed through almost all the way through to the wire. I've had replaced this one on two separate occasions. And once it rubs through, it'll set off your ABS light on your dash. I've secured it tight to the spindle with wire. Nevertheless, it's still rubbed. Last time I had the wheels balanced because of this weight right here. Every time it goes around, it takes a little bit of rubber from the speed sensor protector. I 
I have a six inch Tough Country lift and it may be necessary for me to increase another inch and a half in height. But I also installed Cognito upper control arms which are designed to work with suspension max adjustable torsion keys. With these keys, I believe I can go up an additional two and a half inches. But in my particular application, I plan on going up only approximately one and a half inches. Which should give me roughly an eight and a half lift of over and above what the factory originally had on this truck. I don't want it too high, but I don't want it too low where it's going to actually uh, interfere with turning and whatnot. These keys actually have the ability to, to adjust to certain heights. This actually comes out And depending on how it's positioned in the torsion key, I'll have to look at the instructions to be sure what number to set it to, but you can see numbers all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It'll allow me to um, go, I think, I think the minimum is an inch and a half, which is what I'm gonna do. These are actually really good torsion keys. These are not prone to breakage like many of the cheaper Chinese aftermarket uh, torsion keys designed for lifts. Now this one, of course, is made in the USA. My recommendation is never buy China anything. Although sometimes you have no choice because you can't find whatever you're looking for made in the USA. I also purchased a set of a new um, lug nuts. These are more than likely made in China. They only cost 75 bucks for the whole, whole lot of them. But these are actually machined from a solid single piece. Don't ever buy the two piece lug nuts and they do make them. Basically, it's a threaded insert. Those are, are prone to failure. Eventually my next step will be to buy a set of shock hoops, double, double fox shock hoops. Let me put this down for a minute and I'll put that on and we'll see what it looks like. <laughs> 